I'm Rems from Dreamcore. I saw that Windows 11 got released by Microsoft. I was like, yo, that's clean. Then I updated my own PC. And then my friend Aaron, he was like, oh no, don't upgrade to Windows 11, you know? AMD CPUs are bad on Windows 11. And I, thought, I thought my PC would turn into a potato. I was quite confused, like why would it slow down, right, after an update? And I didn't want to lose out on that sweet, sweet FPS. I'm not like a tech guy. I mean, I know computers, but I'm not that knowledgeable. Luckily, I work at Dreamcore. Uh, and when I was in the office, I asked my co-workers. And by co-workers, I mean JC. Is this touchscreen? No. That's lame. What do you mean, test it again? Sorry, that's... You're on Max for lunch? No. Uh, long story short, he was too busy to help me. But he did tell me that they fixed it in an update. So it's the same? Huh? What do you mean it's the same? So the numbers are the same? Of course I thought it was BS. Like, this guy confirmed prank me one. You see, I post on Instagram for a living. Which means I need the most powerful PC in the office. No compromises. So I went to our intern Shane and I asked him, does it run well on Cinebench? Yep. Does it run well on 7-Zip? You know, like people online always compare CPU speeds on 7-Zip. It's literally like a file compressing tool. But go off, I guess. On 7-Zip, no difference. On V-Ray, steady. Horizon Zero Dawn, same. Rainbow Six Siege. I don't play this game. I think it's way too difficult. But here are the scores anyway. Uh, I guess we have enough data to prove that you can upgrade to Windows 11 even when you're on a Ryzen processor. Can I take this? No. 